And welcome back to another ASMR video. So, last night I was super, super, super tired. Where I woke up for breakfast, breakfast, and I quickly, where I quickly went back to sleep. That is when I had this crazy dream. That was pretty eventful, where I almost fell down. And yeah. So in this ASMR video, I am going to make you experience my dream in your perspective. Second person. To make yourself imagine my dream that I had. So let's get started. Alright, so... It's you who's going to explore my dream, all right? So, your, your dream starts, all right? You fall asleep, you decide to take yourself a nap, you fall asleep. And that's when your dream starts, okay? Okay. So, it is nighttime. It is nighttime. You are inside a car. Inside a car. And you are riding it. Alright. You are riding it. You're driving that car. And you are taking a lesson on the road. And it seems to go pretty rough. So your lesson starts. You are with your instructor. Your instructor is beside you. And you are behind the wheel. So you start and you go off the parking lot and you are turning right and you proceed to go. And then what happens is you, as you're driving, you intended to brake at some point, but instead of pushing the brake, you hit the gas and as you did that, mistake, by, 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 by mistake, by mistake, your instructor yells at you, says, break, slow down, slow down, in a yelling manner, like he yells at you, slow down, you're going too fast, you're going too fast, okay, and as you are, as you are on this car, in this car, you become anxious. You are really, really agitated. And so far, your lesson's not going pretty well. You're not, it is not going as smoothly, as smooth as the roads. It is rougher than the roads that you're traveling, that you're on. Okay. <laughs> So, you are, you are going through the lesson, and he made a few rough turns, where your instructor says, Oh, come on, you are not turning right. You're not turning the right way. And you should have not done this, or something. And you are becoming really, really stressed out, to the point that you don't care about the speed that you're driving. You don't care about your surroundings, or the signs or the destination that you are going through and you are really you're not really going you just want this lesson to end already and so eventually you are driving really fast and you happen to speed and at some point you manage you happen to look at your instructor for a second and then as you put your eyes back on the road you realize that you are you are almost you are about to hit you're almost at the car in front of you like you're almost hit it and before you know it it is too late it is too late it is too late to break and you happen to rear end to rear end that car I think it's the rear end, that term, but like hit the back of the car in front of you or something. 
Yeah, the leg, you hit the back of the car in front of you, and you feel that the oh no feeling, oh no, I made, I caused an accident, oh no, that's not good. That is the worst thing that could happen to you in your car, in a car, like the thing that you want to, that you want to happen, the last of it, the last thing that you want, that, that, the last thing, the last thing, the last thing that that you want happen to you, okay? And so as you crash your car, your instructor is really yelling at you, is really, really yelling at you. Oh my gosh, why did you not break very soon enough? And what did you do to that car in front of you? You caused an accident, oh my god, how dare you? He said something in a really upset tone. And you started to cry. You started to really, well, not quite cry, but you start to really feel bad. And there were three guys that come out of the car in front of you. And there were teenagers. There were like teenagers who are, who are very upset. They came out, they come out, they come out the, from the car in front of you. Okay? They came out of the car in front of you. They come out. And... They come towards your car and they come towards the driver's side so like the side where your door is and they start kicking it doom, 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 doom. they're starting to kick they're kicking the car they're kicking the car and doom, 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 they're kicking it as to do as a fury in a furial matter, you're very furious of that you are the driver that caused the car crash. And boom, you just, they just keep hitting the car. And your instructor is yelling at you so quickly. And that was really, really a rough experience. But then, as they hit, they just finished hitting the car. And they just go back into the car. And you happen to drive forward, technically, who have committed a hit and run. So, you are continuing to drive in like your instructor is not really happy at all. Your instructor is just, come on, it's over, the lesson is over. You are committing a hit and run or something. And after that, you happen to forget the rest of this part of the stream. But then your dream isn't over yet. Your dream isn't over yet. You happen to run, get out of the car, run towards the nearest building. You are still, you happen to be in town, downtown. For some reason, you were, the site, the scene where you crashed your car was part of a wooded area. But after you ran, you like after you ran a few a few meters, a few hundred or so meters, you ended up finding a building, which happens to be a building with multiple floors. And each of the floors, you can see the bottom of the first floor. There's like this ledge where you can see down to the first floor. All right. And for reference, if you play Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead is a video game where there is one map called the Dead Center and one of the one of the maps features a mall where there is a where there is a ledge with mil multiple escalators that go down and you can see the first floor that is what I'm trying to talk to you about if you don't know Left 4 Dead 2 picture a mall with multiple floors with multiple back ledges that you can see on top and where you can see the first floor so I happened to run towards the mall to see that, uh, to try to prevent myself from getting caught. All right. And eventually I come across a plan, a stupid plan, a stupid plan, a stupid plan, okay, a stupid plan to climb up the stairs in a weird way to a, un to a restricted area of the mall. So, in this mall, in this mall there is like the, there is the staircase that is closed off where, 
there is this gate that prevents you from climbing that stairs. And it is going to the highest, the top floor, which is close to the public, I supposed. So I ended up, you 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 ended up going on the, on the, on the ledge. And you are, you are, happen to, you happen to just try your best. You happen to struggle to climb along the, along the bars of the stairs, the railing of the stairs, and climb it like as a makeshift ladder or something. Use that as a ladder to get to the next floor. But unfortunately, something weird happens. You happen to lose. You happen to lose. You happen to lose here. 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 What is it? You happen to lose your your balance, and you almost fall. Like you almost fall down, and you happen to grab on one of the ledges, luckily, and dangle for dear life. You dangle that. Please help me. I made a bad mistake. I crashed a car or something like that. You just said something, and you were really stuck. And you happen to notice the instructor coming towards you and says, Oh dear, you are trapped, you are caught, or something. And so, you happen to try your best, and you manage to make it to the third floor, or third, or whatever, top floor. So just assume it is the third floor. There were two floors, where there is a big ledge, there's a big gap between, like there's pretty high up, like with a second and first floor separate it is pretty high up and you reach that floor and as you make your way you end up to a hotel like place where there are like suited rooms like this floor contains an apartment and as you are as you try to to find a room to hide in, you happen to find an open room. You forget, you forget the number, but the number doesn't matter. You go into that room and you try to hide. But then you realize that eventually you're not alone. Eventually you notice that you're not alone. You notice that a group of teenagers come into that room and you realize that these teenagers were the ones in the car in front of you that were in the car in front of you were you in the car that you crashed and the teenagers start to hit you for that and eventually you wake up after that hotel or apartment scene or something like that and yeah, you just woke up and it's now 4 p.m. on that time where you dream, okay, or something like that. So that is the end of this dream. Your dreams ends and therefore your dream imagination experience ends here. So I might have inserted I statements, but I intended to make this video a second person rather than a first person or like explaining my dream in my perspective. I wanted to make you guys experience this in your perspective to make you feel like you are experiencing my dream. And so I hope this video gets 10 likes. If this video gets 10 likes, I'll try to make a video like this. And so it will be greatly appreciated if you do like this video. And in this channel, I make ASMR formatted videos. From dream imagination videos to, to coding. ASMR all the way to, to fact telling and gameplay videos. And so, st please stay tuned for the next video. And I'll see you next time.